If you are a Nigerian living abroad, don't build a house. Watch video to the end if you cry, I know, and I know is the last comment of a fool. Like the normal tradition of every Nigerian where they are abroad, India, China, uh, Malaysia, and not this one with Italy. Their normal tradition is as they also for abroad, when money they tell their hand, that will send money home. They may their family members, their brothers and sisters, they help them build us for Nigeria. They after they don't complete their house finish, they buy like two cars. Then when they don't buy two cars finish, then they come from abroad, come settle down for Nigeria. That's the worst mistake, the worst financial mistake if you make for your life. And if you not trace your steps now, wait till happen to others before go still happen to you. Because people that started this Nigeria way, they can't settle down now. Not be here your source of income day. Your source of livelihood is not here. And as you day abroad, now that you you say the hustle, and the hustle with the hustle, they not be like maybe many of you now. Not, not be say you get company there, not be say you get self-sustaining business there. Which means now normal nine, nine to five job now you they do, and maybe normal monthly or weekly salary now you they collect. Okay, as you they come back to Nigeria now, that your source of income, it don't pause, which means you are coming home to nothing. Because that house is nothing, that car is nothing. Because the car not going to pay your bills for Nigeria yet, and the house not going to pay your bills for Nigeria yet. So if you are coming home, take it maybe, where the mistake when many of them are there abroad, the mistake when they make is when they confuse achievements with investments. House and car and achievements, they are not investments. You know that? So when you begin get that, when you not feel differentiate between those two things, you can come home, take it, say you don't arrive, you can come back to Nigeria, and only time you go take it, whether your savings, when you say, maybe you save like maybe 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 10 million, when you don't say finish, when you don't shop and finish, eh? When you don't shop and finish, because that normal face is that when you take home, you will place family, you will place friends, you will try to put this in place. A family members will be see that they depend on you for all their whole life before, you will try to settle them, give this one, this, go do this, go do Before you look at that small money when you save it, eh? you don't finish. Then you are left with what? Nothing. No source of income, nothing, nothing. You are left with your house and your cars. And those two things, now you go spend money to take them, maintain them. Now you go spend money to maintain that house where you build. Now you go spend money to build, uh, to maintain that car. And now you go spend money to fuel her. Then when family members, now they all of them, they put their, because they look and see anybody where they are abroad now, or dogu now. So as you come like this now, you don't carry that full responsibility for body. Before you look now, slow, slow, you don't they downgrade, they go slow, slow, you don't they downgrade, they go. First, now you don't whip your first car first. Second, you don't whip your second car. This same thing now they tell you now. Many of them would say maybe I they wish you bad or I don't know what they talk. But this still don't happen to my own uncle. You know that this guy did UK for how many years? He built us. He has when he built now. As I'm telling you now, he don't tell you uh -huh, when he built the house. Oh, when he take come back from abroad, the guy don't broke the house. Eh, he don't even the leak. Not be seen a play. If you see the structure of the house, you go pity for it. You see now this man will come that I will be say almost everybody because he not plan well. Because you know no difference between liabilities and assets. Because they confuse house to be an ass to be assets and has something asset because has a liability. So if you be in Nigeria where they are abroad, which I go advise you be say, as you they are abroad, first of all, look if you get the mind say okay, you know what they there for for permanent. Maybe you go out there, go also for uh, stability. Then get your normal finances together before you come come Nigeria, come establish. Not send your dime. Give any of your sister or your brother, or your relative, may they help you do any business for Nigeria. When you don't save a lot, not build us, not buy car, not do anything. Just come home with your savings. Get better accounts. Put your money there, then come. When you don't, let's maybe also for three years, four years, five years, then come. When you come to Nigeria, get a business and start running a business while you are living in a rent. And with time, when your business is the okay, then you begin to think of building a house. And when you want to build a house, not just start at once, MMA, to please everybody. And what did that thing go do for you? That thing go do two things for you. Number one, you go push your family members from your body. They will think, say, me because say you go abroad, you not build us, you not buy a car. They look and say, you not carry anything come. So because of that thing, now, everybody will laugh you. Think it's say, you don't know what you they do. So as you just come focus on your business. So that expectation will not go there because they think, say, you not come home with anything. But if you be tired, be say, as you did abroad, you they see bar, you they see block. Uh -huh. What do you go do? Be say, you to build a house. Say you won't come stay for Nigeria. Get a, a good engineer. Then not send the money, give your family person. No. Get a real estate, a real estate. All these into a uh, country, uh, all these engineers who they build houses. Get one of them, they give you better guest house plan or a hotel plan. Then look for your family person, like your brother. Make it be your eye. But not send the money given and the engineer, you wanna go get the contract. But now your brother they are aware of everything, but not being they send the money they give. Make they help you build income generating houses. You know understand? Don't go build normal personal house where you want to stay. It's like the reason why the reason why I don't advise Nigerians where they are brought to send money to their brothers or sisters or their family members is because Nigerians where they here, they not get conscious of people where they are abroad. 
Your own brother will shop your money, not send. This thing happened to me myself. 2016, when I did Ghana at that time. So my money when I sell for my sister account before I come to Nigeria, you know, story a year. You know that's so if you are a Nigerian, because then your family where they are, they feel say all those locations where they snap it or where they fresh. They listen now you get all those places. They don't know say abroad, everywhere fine. You will be saying you there abroad and package you there normal because you don't go allow anybody to see you finish. Maybe sometimes now if you they go work now, you just see one place, you be saying fine, you just want to take picture. You go send at home. You will uh, post that for your social media pages. Then they think you they live fine, like you know they struggle before you they get the money. So if you send your money, give your family member, they go do you take. I say maybe you get a very reliable one. Will be say you they trustworthy. Then if you the type of person will be say you they abroad and time not really there your side. Like not be everybody get time. Maybe you don't advance with age. Uh -huh. Maybe time not there your side. What you go advice me you do? If you get trusted one, will be say they trusted do make it they help you the package so kind of business for the Nigeria, but. Make the person, the person will be say they experienced with business. Not be say because of saying that your brother or if they talk sensible thing, not me say you get business experience. There's difference between business experience and sense, person will get sense. So what you will do for them be say, if you're not savvy business experience, if you around for me, they go all these seminars or may go learn trade, then with time you they send some more money they give them, but not send the money give them once. They send some more money, five hundred K or uh, what hundred K, two hundred K may they establish business for you for Nigeria here. Yeah. If you get person will be say they reliable. That one will still help you. Because if you not get that kind of thing from Nigeria, you go come home. That's thing where they happen to all these old boys so they come from Ghana, Malaysia, India. It go happen to you. Why be so these Nigerians so they come uh, all those uh, boys so they, say, oh, they will stay with it for months. Then you go yes, say before they will go back, they will sell their car. Because as they come home, they carry better money come home. They seek to buy, buy a car for the Nigeria. But they not get stable source of ego. So as they come now, they don't shop their money finish. Wait till they, 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 they are left with the car. Now they feel they meet up with the hotel biz. Some of them are from the hotel there where they lodge. Now they, they take five pesos, they buy their car, they sell and they pay transport, go back to where they take the also. And not be waiting you, you pray for be that. So wise up, oh. everything that they talk for life, because many of them now they say maybe you and they consider my age. Say this guy's small boy, they give which kind of advice you they give. But me, I don't experience a lot. And I get the belief, say life experience, not me by age. You know that's that. So, I uh, mean, myself, and they say, you know, they advise people not to buy us. They advise people not to debut us. Uh, all this uh, head or airtime motivational speaker. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm a financial advisor. And my advice are they give people based on experience or what I don't see person with they close to me. I don't witness them before. Now they talk. I know they talk because I won't talk. So, if you need my advice, book my private session so I'll mentor you properly. Click the link on my bio there. Follow me on Instagram or TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. One love. Gigi.